plans for next year going well? Yeah, we're pretty much sorted. Um, yeah, we'll be in the BTCC next year, um, which is really exciting. I haven't made an, an official announcement of uh, what team I'll be with, um, but to see me in the British Touring Car Championship is all I can say um, will be happening. But yeah, I'm super excited. Look out for that. So Soyang wants to know, what's your best and worst moments of your career so far? My best and worst moments of my career? I would say my best moments, probably um, when I went to Paris Bercy, um, in 2011, having driven, hadn't having driven carts ever, um, up against all the boys in Formula One, and, and you know, finishing fifth there, a grid of 20 was probably my best bit. My worst bit in my career is probably my humongous accident at Thruxton, 2011. Um, my third race ever um, behind the wheel of a car, made a big mistake, and uh, yeah, big accident. Um, but yeah, that's what happens in motorsport. Have you ever been starstruck? <laughs> I have. Um, I would say my starstruck person would be Rowan Atkinson. I was a big fan of Mr. Bean. Um, such a fantastic actor, creator. What he does is, is amazing, especially making people laugh, being silent with that character. Um, so I met him at Goodwood. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I didn't really know what to say to him. Like my mouth had pretty much dropped. Um, and uh, yeah, I can believe and he sounds exactly the same um, in real life than, than he does in, in character. So uh, yeah, he's got to be my, my starstruck person. Adi, Adi James asks, what's the hardest and most exciting part of the weekend? In racing, um, oh, probably the hardest, the hardest part is probably, probably the races. Um, the most exciting part is also, you know, the races. Um, you know, with BTCC, um, I did it in 2015. I did four races, so I, I know what it's like. You have three three races on a Sunday, so as soon as you've done the first race, you got um, you know a little bit of time to do data and debrief, and then you're straight out for your, your next race. Then you've got um, you know sign-in sessions and stuff with the fans, which is always great um, to to be able to react and, and be with the fans. Um, so yeah, I mean it's super super busy so it really is a it's sort of a mental task um, throughout the day to keep yourself focused um, and also keep yourself happy in front of, of, of fans when you're not always having the best of days um, is also quite difficult um, but yeah it all comes part of it um, but yeah I, I wouldn't want it any other way and Sepai asks when did you first realize racing was something you wanted to do oh, I wanted to do it since I saw Lewis turn a wheel in go-karts. Um, I just never thought it would be possible with my condition, with cerebral palsy. Um, um, so I originally uh, you know, drove a go-kart when I was seven years old, um, but I struggled with the pedals, my legs weren't strong enough, so I didn't really have the, the desire to actually take that up full time. Um, and then, yeah, as, as the years went on, you know, I really worked on my condition. I went from being you know, wheelchair, eight, uh, wheelchair bound for five years to walking unaided. I was told I never walk or talk, and 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 got to the point where I can now, you know, walk. I can talk. I can race, um, and I wanted to, yeah, try and showcase that as much as I could. Um, and so, once I knew I was strong enough, um, that's when I knocked on my dad's door and said, "Can you, you know, get me in a race car?" Um, and my dad's sort of not helping me now, and it's, it's all down to myself, making sure I get all my sponsors, uh, all the finances together, involved to to race. And uh, yeah done it all out of my bedroom. A lot of people expect my brother to give me the backhand and give me millions of pounds to race, which is 100% not the case. If I don't find the money, I don't race. Um, and I'm just proud of myself of finding the funding to, to race next year. And finally, how did you get involved in game development and do you have any plans to do more in that industry? Yeah, so um, when I when I you know did carts when I was seven, you know I tried a go kart and I saw it didn't really work out. My my idea was to if I couldn't have a, a career in real life, you know why didn't I try it in the virtual world? Um, so I loved gaming. That's all I knew. Uh, I played games all the time. My dad was always saying to me I should read a book and do something more constructive. Um, but I loved gaming. Um, so I started out driving. Uh, it was GTR, which is a game done by Simbin. Um, and I started racing that and I, I really you know, got good at it and uh, I found that there was loads of communities, race department, Synchro, all these places and um, I started to, to join them and, and sort of learn from them um, and then in 2009 I became UK number one um, in the British Championship in, in online gaming um, and then through that I got a offer to work with Slightly Mad Studios on Project Cars 
Um, so I did five years with Project Cars 1, and then I did two years with Project Cars 2. Um, and so it, it was just a just a snowball effect, really. I didn't really expect to, to have the opportunity, um, but that's what got me into it. Um, would I like to do that in the future, and, and is there possibilities? Yes, for sure. I think um, with esports nowadays, you know, it's improving so much. You know, it's getting such a big industry um, that I would love to, to be a part of it. I'm going to see what happens with Project Cars, whether they do a third one. Um, I'll definitely be involved in it. Um, but if there's any other opportunities, I'm sure there is. Um, you'll see me see me around.